Hi, it's Nick here again, back to give you a brief demo of what I've been doing recently, and that is um, scanning and uh, cleaning up old photos. So I have one here. In fact, I have a I love it here, but I've chosen this particular one. Um, as you can see, I've been going through quite a few. Uh, but let's go for this one here. Just click on it and we go to edit. Uh, I'll put a picture of my uh, scanning uh, equipment uh, in this post as well. Um, I use uh, a 5D Mark II to do my scanning uh, for photos and slides and necks. Um, and uh, you'll see it's quite effective, really. Uh, the thing is, it gives you a high resolution image uh, rather than using just a flat lead scanner um, okay so we've got a picture here now first thing obviously it needs to be rotated uh, i always find the easiest thing to do here is just to rotate from the edit menu um, next thing of course is just crop it now i crop it because i don't want neo to get too confused with other uh, other border issues if you like um, so you've got two choices you can go original or you can go free uh, what i choose to tend to do i start with original um, and just see how far sometimes it actually works but other times it doesn't like now most times it doesn't um, so now i can just crop it exactly where i want it to be and that's just there. I tend to take it a little bit off the borders, but you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter much. Quick apply. Um, okay, so the first thing I tend to do is try and give some contrast to this. Now you can go to the smart contrast button, uh, which gives it a little bit. Uh, often it's not enough, and we kind of have to go down here. Now, if you press J, it gives you um, the um, uh, gives you where the white and black points uh, are starting to get uncomfortable, if you like. So, hey, you can see there, I've gone too dark. So we don't want to make it too dark, but we want to get we don't want to make it too. It's just probably not far off. I might have to, at a later date, look at. Um, uh, maybe uh, doing something with this top area but we can look at that in a minute the next thing i do is i go to enhance because enhance seems to do a pretty good job of just giving you see there you go i probably don't need to do a great deal i'm not going to do much with the sky um the sky is blown out there's there's it's blown out in the original photo there is no data um all i'm doing is making it a different color so enhance as you can see enhance does do wonder, wonderful things so back to that and now now what i would tend to do is maybe go to black and white now you might say well it's already black and white well it's not it's got a slight color hue so i tend to convert it to black and white um, because that's ultimately what the original image was when you when you your camera scanning it tends to or any scanner but particularly camera scanning it tends to take it to gray so that's why you have that slight color cast so that being done um, usually what i would do then is go to erase and maybe just get rid of any sort of spots but there's not really a lot there i mean there's possibly one there one there now, always fine with the erase button. Um, it takes time to warm up on the first one. So my tip is to always try and choose less. Then you can start getting into a bit more. Um, so there may be one there, or maybe, uh, no, I, don't think, I think that's part of a dress actually. Uh, one there. Um, look, you have to be reasonably patient um if you want to get all the bits and pieces out of it i'm not going to bother doing that i mean there's a bit here i could do but look it was in the original photo so i, I really don't think you need to worry too much um okay so now 
what we really want to do now is probably provide a little bit of detail um, so I'm sharpening up a bit now sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't let's see if we can if we go into here see All, already there's a little bit of detail but we don't want to go too far bearing in mind and you can start to see all the spots here too but bearing in mind that this is a small photo so you are not going to see this as blown up as that so you can see now the detail is quite good um, just gives you that little edge uh, and look I, I think that's probably about it I mean other things I have tended to do is do a vignette but I don't think it's going to work so well on this one so sometimes if, um, if it's pretty even I do tend to darken or lighten the corners uh, I could do it here but I really on this particular image I really don't think that's uh, necessary um, so yeah okay well I think that's all that can be said because the next thing will be to save it uh, and I've got a folder set up and then I would save it to um, to wherever I want it uh, generally I still save it uh, as a big file and then um, for the purposes of printing because you're only going to be printing small small um small sizes so probably a six by four or something like that um then i would um uh drop it right down to about you know biggest side 1300 pxi so um okay thanks very much for listening and uh, see you next time